I got to the south side. Let me see. Let me know. We was living on Forest Park. We was living on right off. No, we was living on Jonesboro Road, which is kind of close to the Forest Park area, and, and like um, on a house. And then um, the house was just too much to take care of, so my mom found an apartment on the south side. Um, this has got to be like six, seven years ago. Um, where we stay on the south side is really peaceful, actually. Compared to like what people know about the south side, where we stay is actually really peaceful. And it's this apartment, but it's just a peaceful apartment for some reason. I don't know why, because the apartment's right around the corner, turned the fuck up. And I didn't live there that much at first, but then I came back to take care of my mom. And like really just always been chill because I did most of my work in the city, but I, I met some cool people or whatever, like my boys who, who kind of not introduce me to the music, but introduce me and had open arms introduce me to their music, which was um, them boys. Some South Side niggas that I knew. And um, then when I was staying over there, I met my boy Trevo, who he fucked with them boys too. But he do his own thing, he make beats, he stayed like right up the street from me. And um, it kind of was like, what I can really tell you about the South Side is that niggas just stay true to they self. What how South Side niggas is, that's how they gonna be to the death of me. That's why I got put in my song, you know, Southside Niggas to the death of me. Cause that's just how real Southside Niggas are about this shit. Like, whether it's this, that, and the other, they gonna be true to this, that, and the other. Or whatever. I remember South Lake Mall, like going there all the damn time to the fact, to the point where I got a job in the damn mall. You know, like, those are the things I remember about the Southside. I got damn AMC 24, all the hoes. I ended up pulling up, pulling up with my homeboy, um, car or whatever, we went whipped up there four deep, being so hard, the damn car died, battery died. We there the whole time, the whole movie there, then let in and let out, we the last people there, waiting on the jump. You know, so like the South Side just turned up, man, turned up, for real, for real. The most important thing, no matter what type of situation or whoever you're hanging with, is being your goddamn self. It don't matter, man. It don't matter. Like, I, I, and, I, and I promise you, I'm a living testimony, whatever, witness. You can be yourself, respectively, with anybody you hang with. It don't matter what they are. Hood niggas, hipsters, business people. Because, and I do it because of the fact, like, I want you, if you want to be a fan of Trinidad James, you're a fan of really me. You're not a fan of a facade. You know what I'm saying? Like, niggas be talking about real nigga this, real nigga that. The most important thing about being a real nigga is being yourself. It don't matter what it is. Like, a real nigga is whatever quality you got inside your heart and inside your soul, being you act on that quality all the time. Not like, oh, one, you ask 10 different people the same question about you, they have 10 different answers. No, something ain't right with you. Because all they're doing is say what you say. Don't give a fuck, but. Tasteful. That my style is, it's kind of all over the place, man, because I just do crazy shit. Like, I don't know, I feel like I look good at everything. Or oh, whatever. And, like, sometimes, like, I just don't care what people think. Like, I know people say that all the time, like, I don't give a fuck what a nigga say. You do. You do. When I, and I don't ever, I can't really say that I don't give a fuck what people say, but it's just like, when I look in the mirror, like, it just makes sense. Like, when I put on shit, it just makes sense. And I live my life off making sense. So my outfits just make sense. In the most weirdest, crazy type ways. And when you gotta fight, figure out all these damn equations for an outfit, man, you can kiss my ass. I'm straight. I'm good. You don't gotta wear it. I feel amazing. Hey. Um, working at, working at Bucci, working at Bucci that I work, I've been working there like three, four years. Um, it's called Genza. It it um it shows you things. It shows you that it honestly shows you that you can be the freshest nigga ever and you don't gotta spend all your money every time. It shows you that you can piece pieces together, wear things from 06 with things from 2013 or 2012, and people gonna look at it like, oh man, 
Because it's, it's not, it, it shouldn't be a competition. You should just do you. And working at the store, I see people that they in competition all the time. And I just, I'm not on that. I just do different from what I see. I'm not the norm. That's why I posted almost everything I was doing. I wasn't bullshitting. I wasn't bullshitting at one time. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't consider shopping bullshit as a part of my life. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, shit, that's what I do. You know, I do business. I shop. I perform. You know what I'm saying? I go to the studio. I man, I, I'm working, man. And that's all I want people to see that I'm working. You know what I'm saying? Rick Ross, I've been seeing him on Twitter forever. You know what I'm saying? He tweeted Gold Game. You know what I'm saying? That's a good brother. You know what I'm saying? Good, like, these people are good people. You know what I'm saying? I needed their wisdom. They gave me wisdom. That's real nigga shit. It's just, it's a classy type of jewelry. Gold is, gold means to me, the jewelry gold, it's just classy. My dad wore it when I grew up, when I was growing up. Rappers that I looked up to, I remember looking back on the TV screen, they wore it. Michael Jordan, he wore it. And that's, that's like my basketball person or whatever. You know, I was like, Whoever was a boss to me growing up, they wore gold. I feel like I'm a boss type nigga. I'm my own individual. I wear gold. Gold means first place. I want to be first. I'm a winner. It kind of all ties in hand in hand. It's a real wonderful situation. The gold gang. The gold goddamn gang. Gold gang is... It's a mentality, really. To be honest with you, gold gang is a mentality. Gold gang is when you wake up in the morning, it's like, man... I'm finna do, I'm on the next thing. I'm, I'm trying to win. It's having that first place mentality where it's like, no matter what, it could be the smallest thing, it could be a job. Like, I'm gonna conquer a new battle today and I'm gonna better myself as a person. It don't matter if it's like an iota or a whole big change, it's like a facial lift. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I'm just gonna aim to win. It's a mentality. It's not about a bunch of niggas running around with gold on. No, 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 no. It's about, it don't matter who you are. If you got that winning mentality and you wake up wanting to win every day, you go again. You go again. That's 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 the you know, plain and simple about it. That's what going is all about. A willing a willing winning mentality in life.